So this is it, semi-final day in the FA Cup. Well, nobody remembers the losers, and uh, I've been on the end of losing situations, and you just do not want it. It's one of those days to forget, but a day to remember if you get through. Today's game, Manchester United against Aston Villa. Now I'm looking forward to having a look at these two, Alan. Obviously it's a team game, but they're intriguing individuals, aren't they? They are, and uh, they don't just play for themselves, which is the satisfying thing. They lift the head if there's a ball to be played, rather than shooting themselves, they will play that ball. They've shuffled their pack today, Manchester United. David De Gea starts in goal. Chris Smalling starts with Phil Jones in centre defence. Bastian Schweinsteiger plays with Blaise Matuidi in the centre of the park. In attack, Wayne Rooney starts. He's been in tremendous form in his recent games. And quite a few changes for Aston Villa. Leandro Bakuna starts with Ali Sissoko as the full-backs. Jack Grealish plays with Gary Gardner in the middle. In attack, Wilfred Bonny starts. He's been in tremendous form recently. Anthony Taylor, the referee today. These two teams have worked so hard to get to this FA Cup semi-final. Now all that preparation is going to be uh, tested as the action starts. Yeah, I can't wait for this one because two teams that have been in great form, uh, you just hope they can reproduce that now when it matters. Antonio Valencia. Matuidi. Valencia. And that ball belongs to the goalkeeper. That's a good challenge between the two of them there. Oh, well, it's a... Pretty robust start to the game. It's certainly a foul, but the referee's kept his cards in his pocket. Sinclair. Damia. Very good intercepting play there to get his positional situation right and win the ball without too much effort. Matuidi. Now Bastian Schweinsteiger. Return pass. Shaw. Sure. He's got that through clever reading of the game. Intercepting and getting possession back for his team. Scott Sinclair. Tweedy. Leandro Bakuna. And shoots! Oh, well saved! Schweinsteiger. It's good movement. They're getting forward here, Manchester United. Coming up now, a corner. The ball's just deflected behind for that.
is shut off now. And they've scored. That's the first goal of the game. Well, in it goes via the underside of the bar. Always looks special. Well, maybe a little bit of luck there, but he's hit it hard and true and got his reward. Let's see the replay now. Manchester United with the lead. Tremendous understanding from these players. Well, he's cleared the danger. Safety behind for a goal kick. That's well, amazing. We have to have another look at this. Rooney's goal. Well, he's hit it with power and he's hit it with swerve, and that's what did for the keeper. Bastian Schweinsteiger. possession again Jordan Veretout Gary Gardner Wilfried Bonny and he claims the cross it was well it's nothing's ever straightforward for goalkeepers but he's uh, not been challenged Well, it will be dealt with easily by the defenders there. It wasn't a great cross, in truth. Now they can build from the back the opposition. Possession changes feet. Sinclair. Leandro Bakuna. He wants to play on the shoulder of the last defender. He's just got to get it right. It's all about timing. Tweedy. Shaw. Scott Sinclair. Here they are, the Manchester United fans hoping that this is a prelude for better things. They have got the lead, they haven't been at their very best, but of course they're capable of upping a gear. EA Sports continues its coverage from the Barclays Premier League. The fixture for Manchester United they will be hosting Everton. Yeah, I've had a lot of supporters get excited about it, and I am as well. That'll be a throw. Antonio Valencia. He's cut out that pass. It wasn't an accident. He read the mind of the opponent. Wilfried Bonny. Pass one defender. Bonnie. 
And now the shot! Now it's offside, and it looks as though they might be in to score. So there we are at half-time in the semi-final, and this team have got to find something extra, otherwise the opposition are going to have that celebratory final whistle and get their place in the final. Yeah, they won't be happy with the way that they perform because it's been a bit, a bit lethargic at times in that first half, so they need to step it up. FA Cup semi-final, second half has started. Yeah, it should be a fantastic 45 minutes, this, if the first half's anything to go by. Jordan Veretout. Guilfrey Bonny. And now he's looking for some support. Good hands, bread and butter work, really, by the goalkeeper. But he did it very competently. He's having a good game. And he's moved in, trying to jostle the opponent off his stride. Well, it is a free kick. And uh, they're excited by this. It's a real chance to at least work the goalkeeper. Well, they look promising there in that wide area, but the defender's done well. Sure. And shoots! And the goalkeeper plunged to make the save. Gary Gardner. Leandro Bakuna. for the shot. Oh, it's a goal, and they pulled it back. Let's see the replay now. So, away we go at one all. Valencia. Antonio Valencia. Two players there with a strong tackle between them. Actually, the ball's gone out for a throw. Neither won it cleanly. Gary Gardner. Trying to switch on the... Attacking power in this situation. And that passing is top class. Aston Villa's next game, Alan. What about that? They're playing Liverpool in the next match in the Barclays Premier League, and I think they're going to win it easily. Jordan Veretu. Leandro Bakuna. And there is some uh, backup for him in this position. McTweedy.
Guthrie Boney. Matuidi. He's got his shot off now. Oh, saved by the goalkeeper at full stretch. And that will be a corner for United. And here we're going to have a substitution. And it seems as though it's for tactical reasons. That's great work by the goalkeeper. Matuidi. Jordan Veretu. Well, here we've got the possession stats so far for you coming up on the screen. Well, nothing to split the two sides. This is when you're looking for somebody to pick out a hole, create the pass, create the goal. Sinclair. And better too. You have to work hard to get the ball in a match like this. And he's done that work and he's come away with possession. We see so often the impact of substitutes. We're going to see a substitution here. Here's the cross. A Twitty! No chance with that one. Too high all the way. <laughs> Wayne Rooney is being replaced now. Well, now they've won the ball back in the middle of the park by intercepting that pass. A return ball. It was good progress with this attack. Kieran Clark. One of the sides is going to make a change. McTweedy. Now he's looking for support. Save. And that's a corner for Manchester United. Well, he's going to have a go, isn't he, with this substitution, the manager. It's definitely an attacking move to try and get a winning goal. He's got his fist to it. Right from the beginning, we've never known which way this game is going to go, and it, it's kept its drama right to the last. Here's a chance to attack. Jordan Veretu. Matuidi. Chris Smalling. Do a better cross than that, I think. And it was easy to cope with. Jordan Veretu. Sinclair. And in goes the cross. Free kick for Manchester United.
Buddy! It's such a close game. Well, it wasn't a very close effort, was it? No, as the clock ticks on, I think that's the pressure got to him, really, and he just made the wrong choice. Going on into extra time here. Extra time in the past has produced some magnificent periods of play as teams get tired and other factors come into play. We'll see what this brings. Lacazette. Sanchez. Matuidi. Matuidi. Gives it back to his teammate. Chris Smalling. It'll be a throw. Matuidi. Manchester United on the move here. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. And in goes the cross. Well, the ball deserved perhaps a better response from his teammates in the middle. The defender got there first, though. That's United's free kick. Substitute coming on. It's a tactical change. Just one minute of added time to come. It's been a really good match, this. And we reached the end of the first half of extra time. Second period of extra time here. And that's a cross the field to try and switch the play. Lacazette. Is in. I think the keeper had given it up, but not the defender. All about anticipation. He wasn't going to give it up, but back just in time. Schneider then. Jordan Veritu. Midfield, they've got it back via an interception. 
Morgan Schneiderlin. Strong, powerful clearance. Sanchez. On the attack here. Crosses in. Well, the ball deserved perhaps a better response from his teammates in the middle. And shoots! On narrow margins in the match and in this incident. Yeah, not far off. That would have made a difference to the outcome if it had gone in. interception there in the nick of time very late in the game this might be it what a sense of timing here to take the lead in the closing moments well, a late goal from Boney and that's sheer class just guiding it into the bottom right hand corner deep into this second period of extra time now just three minutes to go Let's see the replay now. Well, we've got three minutes left in the second period of extra time. Off we go again, 2-1. He's known as a fine passer of a football, and he's right on his game today. Damia. now and he banked it away one more opportunity to get an equalizer and they've done it they've got through the semi-final somehow and they are in the final it's wonderful feeling i can vouch for that look at the players down there they are ecstatic